We're continuing through the um, counting principle and binomial expansion. Um, on this worksheet here, they ask us to expand this. Um, so since it's four, we're going to use, um, if this were a really big number, then I probably wouldn't ask you to find all of the terms. But this raised to the fourth power means it's going to have five terms. And my, um, my coefficients are one, four, six, four, one. And then I'm going to come through here and I have two to the x for each of those terms. And I'm going to, the, the, the highest power that it'll be is to the 4, 3, 2, 1, and then 0. And then I have this negative, and I'm going to hang on to that negative, put everything in here, and there's a plus sign. Um, sorry, I didn't save myself quite enough space, but pretty close. Okay, now I need to raise these to their powers. Um, keeping in mind, these two always, the, the exponents always add up to this exponent here. So this is four, this is zero, then this is one, this is two, this is three, this last one is four. Okay, um, and now I have two to the fourth, which is 16x to the fourth. This goes to one. Then I have this uh, two to the third is eight times four. Uh, I got sick over spring break. I'm sorry. I'm a little fuzzy. 32 times 3 is 96, but it's a negative because it's raised to the first power, so it's minus 96. X becomes raised to the third power. Y is raised to the second power. Then the next one, this is 9 times 4 is 36 times another 6 is six, um, 216, and this negative becomes positive. Uh, the X is squared. The Y is now raised to the fourth. Then I have 27 times 8, well, okay, hang on, 27 times 2 is 54, 54 times, uh, is that another 216? I think so. Um, let me try this again. This is 2, this is 6 to the, yes, okay, <laughs> this is 2 squared, that's 2 to the first, so there's, I have 2 to the third power times 3 to the third power, which would be the same thing as 6 to the third power, and 6 to the third power I know to be 216. Um, this negative, it's a negative to the third power, it stays negative, negative 216, x is to the first, y is now to the sixth, and then our last term, here's a 1, this is a 1, this gives me 3 to the fourth power is 81, it's a positive, and this becomes y to the, yep, 2 to the fourth is 8. Okay. So that becomes your expanded term. I wouldn't make you do this for a ton of different terms, but um, I'd, you could do it up to the fourth power, maybe even fifth. Uh, okay, so the next one they say find the fifth term of this. Oh, my goodness. So if you remember, each term has a combination. So it's going to be 15 choose something. And then we have our x gets raised to a power. And then we have our negative 3 that gets raised to, well, this and this. Um, these two are going to be the same, if you remember from um, expanding before. And, um, and then these two, the, the, the box and the square, sorry, the box and the triangle add up to 15. Um, so if we want the fifth term, if you remember the very first one, it would be 15 choose 0, then it's 15 choose 1, um, then 2, 3, then 4. So this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth term. The fifth term is 15 choose 4. And so then this right here becomes a 4, and this one becomes 11. That's a little hard to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 15 choose 4 times x to the 11th times negative 3 to the 4th. And this one, I should find a calculator. I wouldn't expect you to do that on your own. Okay, so when I grab my calculator, um, I can go math. No, I lied to you. Um, Options, there we go, come over here. So it's, I went options right here to probability, and then NCR right here is that combination. So I wanted 15, choose 4, and that right here is 1365 times x to the 11th times, um, we had said this one 81 a second ago. So now I need to take this number and multiply it by 81. And I get the fifth term of this sequence is 110,565 x to the 11th. 
Yep, there you go. Okay, and then one more example for this one. It says find the constant term. So we've got 12 to something. We've got x raised to a power, and we've got this negative 2 over x squared raised to a power. Well, what I want to do, okay, so we'll use those little triangles. This is a triangle. These match. This is whatever. These two have to add up to 12, and, um, and these two are going to be the same. Okay, so when I have, I want to get, the constant term means that there are, there, it's x to the 0 power. So I want the same number of x's in the numerator as in the denominator. Um, okay, so let's see if we have, if I let, um, and I'm kind of, once again, fuzzy brain, got sick over spring break. Um, if this became, um, let's see, if this is 5, that would be 7. So that would not work. Um, hang on, where's it? Okay, so I have x, if I said 1, and this became over x squared, this would have to be to the 11th power. This would end up giving me x over x to the 22nd, which is, well, 1 over x to the 21st power, which is no good. Um, so let's try something bigger up here. Let's say x is raised to the, um, if I did 6, no, 6 is... Let's say 8. Okay, this becomes, in the denominator here, I have this x squared. I'm just looking at this. These two have to add to 12, which gives me x to the 8th over, ah, x to the 8th. Okay, so, yay, fuzzy brain, worked again. Um, so this one right here is going to be raised to the 4th power. This is going to be raised to the 8th power. So when I want the constant, when I go solve for the constant term, this is 12 choose 4 times x to the 8th times negative 2 over x squared to the fourth. I'm going to grab my calculator again. Uh, delete everything. Okay, it makes me feel better. Options, scroll over to probability. I'm doing 12, choose 4. This is 495 times x to the eighth. 2 to the 4th power, that's 16. It's a positive now, 16 over x to the 8th. So notice all those x's cancel out. They're, they're gone. And this number times 16 is equal to, so the constant term would be that.